how to use two very hard chords in sequence. Let Bach say and explain how this, how to do this. Welcome to this new video. I'm Ricardo from Musicus Practicus, and today I want to analyze with you the, this prelude in E minor by Johann Sebastian Bach, where there are very interesting things, and above all, this passage, the beginning of the second part, where thanks to summarization and the Fa super la, you can understand how to read this passage. I'm talking about these two bars, these four bars, I mean. In the right way and then how to use this in your compositions first of all let's listen how this prelude in e minor sounds <laughs> Okay, perfect. Now, let's start our analysis. So, the beginning. We are in 3-8 in E minor, so 3-8. E minor, one sharp in the key, like G major, so but, but E minor. The two hexachords, just to be clear, are on D. So D, and the other one is on G. D, ut, and G, ut. I am using solmization because it's very useful when you want to understand um, idiomatic elements and idiomatic movements in this kind of music. In this video I show you how this is very useful. So, the beginning. <laughs> This beginning, if you if you analyze this beginning from a modern point of view, so using for example Roman numerals and functional harmony, you will say tonic, dominant, dominant, tonic, but that's not enough. That's not enough because we need other elements. For example, this can be an ancient version of that part pattern called Meyer. In the Meyer we have Re, Do, Fa, uh, Sol, Fa in the minor version because in the, main, in the major version Fa, Di, Fa, Di, Fa, In 
the major version. In the minor version, due to the position of the syllables in the hexachord, fa mi fa mi be becomes re do sol fa. And so this re do sol sol, but without sol la. So instead of the diminished fifth, which would be a in the regular major, we could say sol fa. We have la fa, just la la fa. You can imagine a passing tone la sol fa. Bass Bach also could do this sol fa, and it works as you can see. Can work probably it did this way for different reasons one of these reasons can be that he wanted to keep this figure the fourth the fourth lip pom, 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 probably but the structure and especially that this is something at the beginning it's very idiomatic because the major is a very very spread very used pattern especially in classical music Now, after this, let's see what's happening after the major. So let's write in our analysis that you can download here from the link in the description with the refreshment on, uh, post on, on the post on pattern where you can find a lot, a lot of content for you. We have the major at the beginning and let's also take our ingredients to the major from Partimento Magic Box. Please, Music Boost Assistance, where are you? <laughs> Where's the major? Right, perfect. So we have our major, tack, here. Then, let's play the following phrase. If you look at the structure in the bass, yeah, but starting here, three, six, three, six, three, three, six, three, six, three, six, where the bass moves th uh, third down and second up. In this pattern, you can learn in, now, I don't want to say you where because I need to wait I want to wait at the, begin at the end of March, but the only thing I want to say is three, uh, wait a moment, 2.3, right, yeah, and also 3.7, I won't say you what, so imagine the top voice should in, in the structure move this way while the lower voice moves it's moving a third down you would need a second up and then the contrary so third down at the same time as second up second up in the bass and third down in the melody and continuing the chain this way but you can sus you can change the second down the second up with the inversion, so the seventh down. Remember that they are the same note, and that the sum, the sum of the two intervals, the two numbers, should make um, nine to be an inverted interval. So seven up is the same. Seven down is the same note of seven of two up. So this way. And then instead of three down, the inversion of the third is the sixth. So sixth up. And basically it's the same pattern. The, probably the reason is the scale. Moving down a seventh, then rising up a sixth. Yeah, we need this. So one two Fa mi re, fa mi re mi. 
fa mi re mi with the fa super la fa la sol fa mi re do and so let's also add the new pattern we said which is called three down second up and let's also take the beautiful ingredient this one wait, wait a second later okay and let's see now what's happening between so in the next section let's play the next phrase <laughs> Leading to B to the to the A cadence to B, then becoming major because we need to come back to E minor from the beginning. But we have a very important thing to notice. What you have to do now consists in extracting, extrapolating the main notes. For example, if we play down beats, only I mean um, eight notes. Can notice three six 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 eight three six three 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 six six three 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 six six three six three six no Four, but we can imagine this six, six, and then six, six, three, eight. So here we have a long, success, long succession of thirds or six, parallel thirds, parallel six, and alternation of parallel third or of six and thirds. So a very fast point like like this because. The bass is a continuous, like the viola da gamba, a bass de viol, a bass de viol. I would say just to make noise, uh, no, just to make, yeah, uh, how do you say, noise? Yeah, yeah to make noise. Okay, to make noise. Just to make noise giving, so this way, a strength to this part due to a repeated note on each single upbeat this way so today you can see people walking in the, in the street with the headphones which in the 17th and 18th century they did the same but with this figuration they, <laughs> it's the same, the, the principle is the same, a continuous rhythm which, which gives uh, uh, the same kind of energy, of course, they didn't have speakers and headphones, but this can be the same principle. <laughs> also the um, Toccata Dorica. You start the beginning and you will never finish this rhythm up to the end, and also in this part. <laughs> I would say that it's something belonging to the human psychology, this, the, the need of a continuation, okay, a continuous rhythm. Now, what I suggest that you do is that you analyze every single interval. For example, three, six, I talked about this note, yeah, let's just color them this way, tac tac, six, 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 eight, three, six, three, 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 six, six, tac, 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 three, 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 six, six. This is the analysis to do. And also here, three, three, three. 
366. And another thing we could say is that we have the same thing repeated a third down. So let's take first of all the main ingredient which are parallel uh, sixth and thirds. So we have parallel sixth and thirds. We have parallel sixth here, six sixth, and parallel uh, alternating thirds and sixth because we have this alternation. Then another very interesting thing that is happening at this point is that we have only a little but only for a fragment that pattern called descending thirds. You got it before I said it. <laughs> descending thirds. It's very common to have something repeated a third down. For example, descending third, something repeated a third down in the structure. So. And also here, three, 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 this, because this seven is an appoggiatura. Three, so three, three, six, three, three, six. We can say then six, six, three, and eight. And we can imagine this like a. Gallant. Cadence, so because the galant, in the galant cadence in the structure we have alternate, uh, a succession of parallel six or parallel third. So if we imagine this, simple, very short, simple cadence, but following this structure. So. And so let's also add this ingredient, the lean gallant cadence here. I'm preparing a PDF, long PDF with all these um, patterns you can download and compare with this analysis just in the, main, in the month of March. And then after this, we have the second part, which is very, very, very interesting because there are so many elements. But since this is a very long video. Let's reserve the second part for the second part of this video. Ut fa sol re mi fa. Can you sing with your hand? Consider that this method has been used to teach music from the Middle Ages until the early 19th century. All the great musicians whose music captivates and moves us learned the basics of music starting right here with a simple hand that I have drawn on a glove, which encapsulate all the elements of music. The great scale, hexachords, clefs, notes and melodies. Everything in the palm of one hand. It is true that it is not so easy to learn this system at the beginning. It is all based on a series of musical relationships and ratios which are different from modern music theory. The historical sources are written in ancient Italian, making them accessible to only a few. Furthermore, the way the ancients write is not always so clear. However, if you have as passionately curious as I am, and you would love to learn how to sing like a true Renaissance or Baroque musicus practicus, take a look to Fa me et me fa e stota musica method. In English, so it will be very easy for you to understand everything from A to Z. 13 stages that are well organized and ordered. Start from stage 1 and gradually progress to stage 13, following the step by step order proposed in this journey. Examples, images, and practical exercises that visually teach you what to do, how to do it, and why to do it. Oh, and in the end, we will do a test together. Learn more. 
ียง